Hi, this is Mr. Big Man again. Um, just here to show you a few other wee cool things about Impulse. Um, the main thing being that it's a multi output instrument. Therefore, we can put all of the different sounds onto different channels uh, within the sequencer and actually affect them all separately. So, I've created a break here, very straightforward. It's a snare and a hi hat, an open hi hat. But I'm just using this to show you exactly how we can route everything through from there. So, stop that and drag the uh, up towards to show you the different tracks. So as you'll notice, I've got three tracks set up, one for the snare, one for the close hat, one for the uh, open hat, which I should have uh, named, but anyway. If you're looking at this then, we're looking to find audio to come from this. They have to be audio tracks for this to work. Um, but that's easily enough to route in um, Ableton Live to be able to bring the MIDI sounds out as audio. So we select here where it says external end, because really at the minute all it's doing is... And taking my voice in from the microphone at the moment, so we do that. And uh, what we want to do is we want to select the MIDI channel that the actual break's coming from. So if we do that, you'll notice that this automatically comes to post fader, and you'll also notice that my voice has disappeared from the speaker. No, possibly. And uh, basically, what we want to do then is we want to select the track or the sample with an impulse that we want to route to this particular channel. In this case, we want snare, so we'll do that. Now if I play the loop you'll not hear the snare, uh, well you will now, but you have, whenever you set these tracks up they're automatically set to auto, you need to change that to in so that the incoming signals process, uh, so you'll see then that that's working fine, uh, we'll do the rest, and again go down to MIDI, we'll select the closed tab sample for this one, and uh, we'll do the same for this. open hat. So you'll notice now they're all coming in on their own channels. Uh, I'll just show you the grid at the bottom so you can see it better. Um, all coming through fine in relation to that particular hi-hat. If we hit solo, you'll hear just the snare. You just remove that and just bring in the actual hi-hats themselves. Go from there. Just select the track as well, and um, down below we can drag our own effects in. Maybe compress the snare, throw a wee bit of dub delay on it possibly. Uh, it's, all, it's all good really in the long run.